All right, guys, Captain CA here for Flats Class YouTube, and you can see I'm holding a fishing rod in my hand. So what are we talking about today? Well, we're going to talk about having an affordable top water setup. That's right. Now, everyone knows me as a casting rod guru. That's, that's what I do. I, I've always been that guy in inshore salt water. But many of you that are fans of Flats Class YouTube and of the television show, you guys love the spinning rod. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about a setup that I have found for my clients and my family that has been doing a really good job. And I think it's going to be something that you're going to want to put on your shopping list. Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by AquaTraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. So what rod am I talking about? I'm talking about the Talavera Inshore Rod from Shimano. Now I'm going to put a disclaimer out there right now. I'm a paid Shimano Pro, so I don't want to hear all of you going, oh, this is another Shimano commercial. It's not a Shimano commercial. It's my job to inform you about the product Intel. So this is a seven foot medium action rod. But what I like about the Talavera Inshore series is the rods are not as parabolic as the Shimano GLF series. There's a little crisper action to these rods. These rods run about $120. Uh, they have the well, hit my light fixture. They have a great sea guide guide train on these blanks. They have a composite cork handle and they have Fuji uh, reel seats. So they're a quality rod for $120, that's it. Um, what I have done is I have paired this up with the C3000HD. This is the Shimano Ultegra. Now that's about $165 reel. Why that reel? Well, it's kind of a tweener reel. You're not, I'm not telling you to buy the Shimano Noski or the Sephiros or anything to make this a low budget. I want this to be a quality setup. So the Talavera made it up with the Ultegra is really a good setup. Uh, it has a great drag system. It has a lot of the features that the Stratic has in this Ultegra. Uh, and I love the way it stacks line. It's a long stroke spool, allows for long casts. And the reason that's important, on most of my rods dedicated only to top water, on the spinning side, I like to use 15 pound test. That's right. I'm using 15 pound Power Pro Super Slick V2. Now on the casting side, I'm using 20 and 30 pound braid. And why wouldn't I use eight pound or 10 pound for this for top water? I'm gonna tell you why. Because when you're throwing these, you know, these heavier top water baits, and it doesn't matter whether you're throwing a heavy one or one that's a little lighter weight, more of a medium sized one. There's a lot of stress that you're putting on that tip top where that braid's running back and forth and back and forth, and then you're twitch, 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 twitch. And when you use those lighter lines, you do tend to have to be cognizant of the fact that you're gonna have to strip line off from time to time and then reclip and retie, or you're gonna end up making one swing and you're gonna throw the lure off. So 15 pound is perfect. And with the crisp action, of this Talavera inshore and the long stroke spool that you get with the Ultegra, it allows for a super long cast with 15 pound Power Pro. So that's why I choose this. Now I wanna talk a little bit about what you're gonna set this up with uh, as far as lures and leader length and all of that to finish up. Okay, final component or element that is important to maximize this very affordable top water setup between the Talavera inshore and the Ultegra reel. Uh, for me would be the lures themselves. So you got to pick lures that are kind of in the sweet spot of this rod. And this rod lets you get away with a lot because it's very crisp. We've said that earlier in the video. 
So when you're throwing, whether it be a large top water, uh, like a Top Dog Junior, which isn't the largest, it's kind of on the low end of the large plugs, the Papa Mullet, which is more of a medium size, kind of like the Top Pup, or if you go down in size to Mira Mullet or even Mira Mullet XL, these, uh, all these baits throw well on the Talavera inshore setup. And that setup for 300 bucks is going to give you a wide variety of topwaters to throw on 15 pound Power Pro. Here's the thing with topwater. This is kind of a bonus tip within this product info video. And that would be the fact that if you want your topwaters to work better than they've ever worked before, you gotta understand you can't have a long leader. So all those times when you're tying three, four, and some of you tying five feet a leader on, it's unnecessary. Top water fishing, anyone that's gonna, or any fish, that's gonna come up and whack this, you can get away with a very short, heavier leader for sure. Now this is about as maximum as I go, 18 inches right here, but you can make them as short as eight to 10. And you can use leader weights that are in the 30, 40, and sometimes 50 pound class, depending upon what you're fishing for. Why do you want a short leader? Because if you have a long leader, you're gonna have all this leader material, especially if you're using fluorocarbon a lot, hanging in the water, sinking, and it's gonna dampen the action of this plug. So it's gonna make it harder to walk. You're gonna work so much harder twitching to keep that nose up. You don't have to do that with a short leader. All right, if, if you want to find these materials somewhere, the Shimano products, or even some of these mirror lure top waters that I revealed in the video today, go to Sodium Fishing Gear. That's right, you can get it at SodiumUSA.com. And if you're learning something from Flats Class YouTube, come on, man, give me that thumbs up and push that subscribe button and tell all your fishing buddies. Or don't tell them and they won't be as good as you. Either way. I'm happy. <laughs> All right, get to the ramp, get to the water, and start walking the dog and catching some fish.